JB, can you put up that picture? Uh, so Chris was a babysitter in his younger days at times. Babysitter, that was my official title, yeah. Professional babysitters, and one of the people you got to babysit was a young Jared Payton. Well, what's amazing is I've only babysat <laughs> one person in my whole life, and it was Jared. Uh, he doesn't remember much about it. In fact, I still haven't been paid for that gig. <laughs> but my dad and uh, his dad, Walter, were doing some business. So uh, the parents went out to dinner and do things that parents do. I was like 12 years old. I had a lot more hair then. Jared had a lot more hair even back then. Yeah, not as uh, much. And so there you were. I babysat him. And I, I've told that story for years. I've had a chance to talk with him a couple times about it. Uh, he doesn't remember much, but of course, when you meet one of your heroes of being a kid from Mississippi, Walter Payton was the guy. Got a chance to meet him a few times. Babysat. Jared had a bloody nose. It was not my fault. I can guarantee that. I tell Walter the next day, and he gives me a slug right in the arm. I, I still have some nerve damage from that, but I, I, I carry it with me with pride. But yeah, it just goes to tell you, the next star nation. We've been together for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a close-knit group. And, Jack, all year long we've been talking about being big game bound. We didn't know who was big game bound. Right. But now we do. We are here. The teams are here. It's my 10th Super Bowl. I couldn't be more excited. And I can't wait to hear. I'll be watching you guys from out in the field, hear what you have to say, talking to these guests, these interviews, because, as you can attest, I mean, doesn't get much better than being Miami. Doesn't get bigger than the Super Bowl. And then you never know who you're going to see. You never know who's going to walk through those doors.